All right, y'all, come with me today for some adventure. Hey everybody, it's Rob coming to you from not, ooh, not the old bird farm, but we're in the woods of Columbus, Georgia. We're going to go on an adventure today. Normally this type of video whoa, would go on my other channel, Sidestep Adventures, but what I'm doing today is trying not to fall down this hill. Actually, what I'm doing today is testing out my all new to me abandoned GoPro, <laughs> abandoned GoPro, <laughs> not abandoned GoPro. I'm testing out my all new to me GoPro Hero 12. And uh, I thought I'd see how it shoots. And first thing I found is an abandoned safe. Look at that, would you? I wonder what the story of this thing is. <laughs> it's an abandoned safe here in the woods of Columbus, Georgia. We're in some kind of old creek bottom or something here. We also got to keep our eye out for, you know, like copper headed rattle moccasins. But how about the abandoned safe? Look at that. It's not what you'd expect to find out here. Weird. I wonder what kind of story this is. Looks like those are torch marks on it. So someone cut it open. Interesting. All right, well, the video started off with a bang. Old tire. Video started off with a bang already with an old abandoned safe in these woods. Let's see what else we can find. There's it's all manner, oh, that's modern, super modern. All manner of junk down here though. It's a dashboard out of a car. Look at this hillside that I went down. I see all sorts of junk coming out of the side of this hill too. May have been an old dump right here. An old fence post. Cool, cool. We got a golf ball. There we go. We got a tire. We got another tire. What have we here? Not an old bottle, but it's a bottle. Random metal. Oh, it's got writing on it. Something was painted on this. Can't read what that says. Golf ball number two. Another 
old metal barrel. Look at this water coming out of the side of the ground right there. I don't think that's a spring. I think it's just where, you know, water, rainwater seeping out of the ground. Interesting. And we in the swamp. Definitely got to watch out for old Joe No Shoulders down here. Interesting. Interesting. All right. There's some kind of swampy, lakey thing going on over there on the other side of these trees. An armadillo. The remains of an armadillo. This is his shell. What do they call that? Possum on the half shell? I don't know. I certainly wouldn't want to eat one. All right. I wonder if we can't go up there a little bit easier ground to walk. Oh man, this is like pure classic adventures into history. Exploring right here. If you've watched my other channel, this is exactly the sort of adventures I used to go on. Look at that big old tree right there. Look at the size of that thing. I don't want to walk back over there to it, but if you compare it to everything that's around it, that is a big old tree. More tires. All right. Nate. Whoa. Whoops. Watch your step, Robert. Watch your step. Ain't no telling really what we'll find back here in these woods. Down here in Columbus, Georgia. This is an old city. Founded about 1828, but the part of Columbus we're in right now wasn't ever, uh, wasn't the original part of Columbus, the city. There were plantations out here. Then there was like mining out here that happened and then homes. And now it's actually really close to Fort Benning. Got more trash. Something just took off running. I think it was just a squirrel though. That is an old wood duck box right there. And then some kind of nice little duck pond through the trees. And then if we look back over here, you know, not, not such pretty sights. More tires. It's amazing, isn't it? We've got beautiful little pond over there, wetlands through the trees. Then over here, we got tires. We got barrels of some sort. We got more tires. We got, I think that's an old propane barrel. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Let's see. It actually says Automatic Gas Company. Company. wonder if there's a date on it. Because they would check and see. You know, they would, they would like uh, inspect the tank. And usually they'd put dates on it. But I don't see any on it. Maybe this one failed inspection. Maybe that's why it's just down here in the woods of Columbus, Georgia. We got a washing machine coming out of the embankment over there. And more tires than anyone ever needed to see. It's kind of like the old bird farm in the amount of tires that's out here. D-O-D. 
W. Hold on, hold on. Golf ball number three. I'm not gonna take it. I'm gonna just leave it there. This old car trunk right here. Well, this is a hood, this ain't a trunk. It's a hood for a 57 Chevy. There's probably a thousand snakes living under this hood. But I ain't gonna look under it. I ain't even gonna try. Probably a 50s car. Golf ball number four. More barrels. Three more barrels down there. So well, thank you for joining me on this adventure into the woods. We see in a lot of trash out here. There's another washing machine and a car bumper above it. Something buried in the dirt over there and an old trash can. It's about six o'clock, so we're kind of running out of light, but I'm just gonna walk as far as I can until either my battery dies or I run out of light. We'll see how these new GoPro batteries do. Here's another, here's a pretty good shot of the little swampy dock pond over yonder that looks so pretty with the sun filtering through the trees it really does barrel oh we need something else you know we set a high what do you call it a high uh standard high standard i guess for this video when we found an old abandoned safe first thing in the woods we got to find something else. Look at these creepy Spanish moss trees over here. Another fence, another fence post. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm trying to think which channel I should put this on. Whether it be the old bird farm channel, because um old bird farm channel started out as my vlog channel. And it still is. Just my daily vlog. It was originally the sidestep adventures vlog. And it changed into uh old bird farm. Because that's where I spent all my time. But I wasn't out filming, you know, for sidestep adventures. But just because the title changed, don't mean it's not still my vlog. And that's really what it is, documenting my existence and on the old bird farm and the things that I do out there on the farm or near about, working on stuff. We got us a big old railroad tie. And we got some kind of tank down here. That looks like an old gas tank or something. All this stuff dates back from the time period when, you know, it was considered okay to dump stuff like this. Who's keeping count of the golf balls? Because we got another one. But yeah, this comes from back in the days when it was just considered okay to dump stuff like this out here. And then we got the nice little duck pond. Okay, let's go continue our little trek through the woods here. Anyway, so Old Bird Farm Channel started off as my vlog and I reckon it still is, but it has uh, become where people expect it just to be on the farm. I do do a lot of stuff other than that kind of like we're doing here where the video that doesn't quite 
fit in to either channel but we'll see we'll see how it comes out when i upload it but right now we got to look at this old abandoned tv look at that about when you reckon this tv's from you gotta tell me down in the comments still not quite as exciting as the abandoned dumped safe is anyone keeping count of how many barrels they are there are because we've seen a lot of them a little tree stomp and we got more tires because you know that's just just how it is got tires there we got tires here we got tires here oh hold on golf ball number six seven something like that golf ball number something golf ball number I don't know y'all are keeping track of the golf ball count for now because oh almost fell I've done lost track this is city property which means it's public property it is city property here in Columbus I ain't gonna give away the exact location but anyone from Columbus probably knows about where we're at the golf balls probably give it away what is this oh we got weird golf ball golf ball golf ball we got weird creepy stuff up here whatever that is we'll walk over it's an old freezer that's what that is two more golf balls down there I know the only reason y'all are still watching this video is to keep a count on the golf balls and there they are let's see let's look at this freezer though if you're still is this an old sign oh we don't want to do that there might be a copper-headed rattle moccasin hiding under it Nope, not a sign. Probably, holy oh, smokes, there's two more golf balls. Anyway, probably a part of this old freezer here. Look at all the trash just erupting out of the ground. Oh, that's an old brick right there. And yeah, we definitely gotta look at that. So this is, if you watch my video, oh, this is an old street paver. This is an old street paver brick right here from, I don't know, somewhere in Alabama is where this was made and I can't read the name on it. But this is a paver, a road paver. Um, how they'd pave roads in the late 1800s early 1900s it's a cool old brick neat that's a neat find that's way older than anything that we've seen out here super old look at that super bright golf ball down there and another one that brick is cool we'll have to remember where that's at More junk. More junk. And a whole lot of tires. And oh yeah. And a golf ball for all y'all keeping count. Golf ball. 
and that just goes to show you when you're in an old dump which we are this is nearby i guess this was the old city dump or at least we're nearby where the old city dump was um i think this this dump is 50s 60s something like that but even though we're even though it's more modern of a dump we still got something just as old as that old brick back there and that is pretty neat just you know makes you wonder what else would have been thrown away out here or, you know back then what else would be buried in the ground out here that brick wasn't used nearby here it would have been dumped here um, probably when they repaved the roads in Columbus however many years ago and they pulled up all that bit all right more woods more squirrels more golf balls we got three golf balls right here look at that three of them y'all gonna have to keep commenting how many golf balls we found Because I ain't got no idea. This is a gloomy little area. <sighs> More barrels. More barrels. More barrels. I'm excited to see how this footage turns out with the new GoPro. My GoPro 9, 9 was the last one I had. So we just jumped to and are up to a 12 now. 9 didn't last very long, relatively speaking. Little 15 watt light bulb. Golf ball. It's a nice end of summer day. It's a particular feel in the air this time of year. As the season starts to change, it's hard to describe. But if you know what I mean, you'll have to comment below and tell me you. You know what I mean? We've got a duck pond that we're gonna get all up close and personal to, which means we're gonna have to keep an eye out for the alligators. Actually have a lot of alligators here. Which a lot of people don't know that, but we have a lot of alligators here. But we also, I'm not really worried about the alligators. But we do gotta keep an eye out for the rattle-headed, copper-mouthed moccasins. I don't know if you can tell just how steep an incline this is that I'm walking on. I heard something scurrying through the leaves. Probably a snake. Anyway, I don't know if you can tell how steep this incline is, but my friends, it is steep. It is steep. Kind of wish I'd bought some water now. I'm not gonna edit that out either. Y'all got me. Slipping and falling. Whew. Look at this cool carved piece of wood. Now I don't reckon that this was carved by man, but rather like a beaver or something maybe. Unless it's a piece of an old Confederate warship.
anything is possible down here in the woods of Columbus, Georgia. Got balancing, balancing act on the hillside here so I don't fall. I'll give you guys more material to laugh at. It's another nice tree. Well, one of my tests of the new GoPro has already failed. I've continuously filmed since uh, since I started this adventure. I have not shut the camera off. Just continually, continually filmed. And my GoPro just overheated. So I shut it off, stuck the battery in my pocket, and I'm running just on the battery back up, which is just battery powered handle grip here. Pretty little lake. And that frustrates me to no end about these GoPros. You know, this is the new 12 that's supposed to be better with overheating. Yet here we are, using the camera for its intended purpose, filming, and it overheats. I'm hot out here, but it's not a hot day. I'm hot because I'm walking, and the GoPro's hot because it was doing its job filming, and that frustrates me to no end. The GoPro is designed to film. It is a camera. It has one job, filming. And it can't seem to do it without overheating. Um, I don't know, we were filming for probably about 20 minutes straight there. And it overheated. If it, you know, if it was something that was not designed for filming, I wouldn't be harping on it so much. But since it's failing its one job, then, then I have an issue. And we're standing in the middle of a massive, just massive trashy area. This is all very modern trash. This was like stuff that was thrown out yesterday because people come down here and fish. Right there, I see fishing line in the trees and just cans and beer bottles everywhere. Just totally disrespecting this environment, which is trash from like 60 years ago. And it's still going on today. Anyway, back on point. Um, that just, again, the, the fact that this camera overheats like it does, my 9 overheated. Now, I never had any problems with the GoPro overheating until I started filming in 4K. Once I started filming in 4K, that's when the overheating started. Not before that. The other thing that I've heard that will mitigate the problem is pulling the battery and just using a battery backup like I'm doing right now. But you shouldn't have to do that, you know. It's a, uh, there have been 12 models of this camera. And you'd think after 12 models, they would have got it under control, the overheating issue. And they still haven't. I can't think of another product that would survive like it does and continue being a, a viable product for the manufacturer if it doesn't do its job. And I mean, this camera will film up to 5.3K, you know, like I said, it does, is never overheated if I was filming in 1080, but it overheats in 4K. So, you know, if, you, if you're designing a product It should work for, you know, all of its things. That's how I feel about it, at least. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I am, though. Um, I guess they've kind of got the market cornered on action cameras. A camera you can get out, toss under the water. And uh, people overlook the overheating issue. But if you Google it, I mean, tons of people talk about the overheating issue and how to solve it. And uh, for the manufacturer to just keep producing a product that overheats like this, I think is just beyond ridiculous. Now we're in the killing field, I guess. Bones and 
dead trees. Creepy, creepy area. Where did I wander into? Definitely wandered into the creepy area. Second fall, but I just went straight down, rode the tree down. Um, well, there wasn't a snake waiting for me under there. This is actually really <laughs> it's getting to be a creepy area. Look at what I'm surrounded by. Maybe my expectations are just too high for the GoPro for what I'm using it for. Um, maybe that's what it is. I like to uh, run and gun when I'm filming, like we're doing right now. And I, you know, I had seen issues with overheating for a long time with the old GoPro, GoPro brand cameras. And I always thought, you know, I never had that problem. And I didn't until I started switching to 4K and filming in 4K. So I've got the camera, of course. The camera is set up on a um, selfie stick kind of thing, a handle, uh, which is also serves as a battery backup. And it's got a media mod on. So I've got the microphones, which we'll see you know, which, how the microphone is actually working on here. Now there's blue glass. Genuine Phillips, made in the USA. Milk of magnesium, I think. People always like the blue glass. It'd be cool to find some Actual old bottles down here. But anyway, um, so yeah, I guess that's my rant on GoPros. Just very, very disappointed. I, I had had people tell me that they fixed a lot of the overheating problem on the 12, and that's obviously not the case. Look at that little bottle. I think that we're going to turn that bottle into a candle. I'm gonna stick that in my back pocket and we will turn trash into something nice, clean it up, turn it into a candle. And you saw me find it here. So that'll be cool. That one won't be an old bird farm artifact, obviously. But an artifact nonetheless. Is this a snuff jar or a medicine jar down here? That's in medicine of some sort. It's 40s, 50s. Modern, modern era. Lots of smalls though. Lots of small bottles here. This has some, what's known as bottle rot forming on it. The kind of discoloration that these old dump bottles get. And this has probably always been just a little, you know, hollow spot here. That's why it's all filled up with trash. I imagine too that the media mod that I'm running on this camera probably does, um, you know, cause some of the overheating as well. Tex eyes. I've never heard of that before. So you'll have to tell me in the comments what it is. Um, so I imagine that the media mod, excuse me, that I'm running on the GoPro 
does not does not help with the overheating. But it's a GoPro product, you know, it's designed to go on the camera so you can have good audio. And if that's it, if that's just the case that what touched me. If that's just the case that it uh causes the camera to overheat, you know. I mean that's probably something that should be a warning when you buy it. Not for not for extended use. Maybe it says that fine print somewhere. Should be large print. Printed on the front of it. But that's not just the cause for the overheating. But I'm sure it adds to it since it encapsulates the camera. But it hopefully improves my audio. I guess we'll see how the audio is. Okay, so this is an interesting area. Notice the total sudden landscape change here. Okay, I just lost a bunch of footage on the camera, but that time it was my fault because the battery backup died. Um, so I've taken the media mod off of the camera. There it is. And uh, in hopes of trying to keep the camera cooler, I put the battery back in because I pulled the battery out, plugged up the handle, and just to keep the camera cold, or cooler, I should say, just to keep the camera cooler. But then the battery backup died. It was working good, but the battery backup died. Oh, shoot. Y'all are just watching me stumble all over the place. I promise I haven't been drinking. That's what I was looking for right there. Let's see what it is. Is it old? No, it is not. Not even slightly. Look at this landscape change. From what we've seen. Is that still a tire over there? Why yes it is. The landscape here has changed. I walked through another change in landscape but I lost that bit of footage. The camera may have already shut off at that time. Um, but this is another one. We're still surrounded by duck pond. There's one through the woods over there. And we know that back that way is another one. So we just came from back that way. But total little landscape change here. It's interesting really. Such a different terrain. Different grasses growing the pine trees I wonder what caused it to grow more like this as opposed to the woody area that we've been growing through walking through different trees maybe this was cleared out longer or something like that who knows what is that that is an old foam seat thing. Seat cushion. Not a seat thing, it's a seat cushion. So I think that maybe the thing to do is to, uh, what is this? I'm not sure if that's creepy or not. Is that creepy? Tell me down in the comments. Random sitting in chair here. I guess part of an old fence or something right there. I don't know. I don't know. So I guess the thing to do is um, run the camera or do different tests with it to see how it overheats 
more but i'm thinking you know run the camera primarily on the battery backup keep a battery in my pocket when if the battery backup dies on me swap to the battery you know if it doesn't overheat just running on the battery backup um if it's more liable to overheat running the battery i know for a fact that it'll overheat just on a battery with the older models um my nine would overheat just on the battery but i never really tested it just on the battery backup uh, and as far as the 12 here i've never tested it just on the uh just on the battery when we had the overheating we were running with the battery back up more old machinery in the woods and if I have to run without the media mod you know I guess we'll look at that too how that plays maybe in certain situations use that in other situations not I don't know maybe but we are uh, we're gonna end this video on a high note here you guys ain't gonna want to miss this for any of y'all still made it through all my rambling and whatnot as we are up on an old abandoned sand dredger hidden in the woods of Columbus Georgia And don't you just got to ask yourself, what is this doing here? This is, you know, some kind of home-built contraption. I've seen this before. I've looked at this before because, you know, of course I have. I'm Adventures into History slash the Old Bird Farm. And this was, this is an old truck right here, an old truck body or a little van body. It was welded to the top of this for a control station. You see the little wheel arch right there? It's interesting. The old tail lights on it. You can even see where the license plate was supposed to go. And then they put it together to create this old sand dredger thing. Well, what is this? Do we even want to know what that is? Probably not. Looks like maybe someone who was, uh, you know, homeless was camping out in here at some time. is as creepy as ever so we're standing in the back of the old truck you can see the wheel well the wheel well and then where the cab of the truck would be up there maybe you can see it lights really low there's the old cab light that's where the controls to operate the old sand dredger were this thing is creepy so creepy Just make all the noise, Robert. Just make all the noise. Is that going to hold me walking across that? Yep, it is. We're walking over the tank in this little catwalk thing here. It's this old riveted tank. It's open. And we definitely would not want to fall down in there. No, we wouldn't. Then there's the, I guess this is the sand dredger part goes down and uh, sucks up the sand or however that works and it feeds it back to the 
What does that say? There's something written on the back of this tank. G. You guys can't see it because there's no light, but it says G-A-T on the back of that tank. Because this is this tank was cut and welded and added to this tank back here. Another kind of tank there. What is this? So this, this is, I guess, the sand dredger. I mean, what would suck up the sand or whatever, you know, clear out the river channel. And it goes to right there and ends. So I guess there was probably a pump right here, I would assume. Um, that control has a winch cable on it. The winch cable runs up here. Let's see. Yeah, it goes to the pipe. Would lift and lower the pipe. which is all connected to an I-beam up there. Had this piece of wood that runs up there. And I guess the pump would be here, would have been here. Some other kind of tank right there. And the smell of death just hit me on here. This thing is cool. We will we will file this thing under cool but creepy. And I wonder what the best way to get down from this is. I'm thinking that we make sure there ain't no snakes down there. And then we slide down like that. And we look at the dark creepiness. of the old sand dredger here. Wow, look at that, that's a heck of a piece of equipment. Just here in the woods, just abandoned here in the woods. Hope you have enjoyed this rambling but exciting adventure in the woods of Columbus. No matter what this channel goes on, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm grateful for every one of you guys who watches my videos. I'll see you next time.